Well, good morning. Chad the Ghost Tenor here, and it's Friday, and you know what that means. Adventure. We're going to head to the Thomas house, and we got two days sold out there. So we're going to see what kind of craziness that's going to happen on the way there and what's going to happen this weekend. Do a little ghost hunting. Do a lot of eating. But I've picked up a traveler. Say hi to baby Dane oh as he's God. eating his I'm breakfast. eating. Anyways, so we're going to have fun. Uh, we're going to see what happens. And uh, let's get this day and this adventure going. Let's do it. The skyline of Knoxville, Tennessee. And there's the Sun Sphere from the World's Fair. All right, so I'm driving by this cord, cordal hole waterfowl refuge. Army Corps of Engineers. So I don't know if we're allowed to go down here or not, or if we're gonna need four wheel drive, but let, let's check it out. I don't know what's down here. Oh, we got a horrible, there we go. Oh, we got a pretty big rut. Ooh. Let's see what's down here. All right, we got, what's this? Oh, this is a parking place. We got muck that way. We got a field this way, and we've got, well, we got giant four-wheel drive tires, so let's do it. If we get stuck, we're gonna be late today, but <laughs> looks like a tractor's been going through here. Mm. Dude, this looks slick. It looks like it goes anywhere. Ooh, we got some muck. I don't know if I want to go through that. Somebody's been planting out here is what it is, and we got a big ditch right there, so... And all it does is just go out looks like the water. It, yeah, it looks like straight ahead it just ends up in the water according to the GPS, so... Well, let's do this. We could just stop and hop out. Let's see what this is like out here and how mucky it is. Oh, it's actually pretty solid. We look okay. This is the only thing I was worried about. Uh, if you go up through here, you'll be all right. Oh, yeah. Uh, we won't get stuck, hopefully. Looks like somebody's soybean plantation or something. And then looks like the trail just goes up here and stops at the water's edge. So, nothing super exciting. I was hoping to see like a little cemetery or something. But it does say waterfowl refuge. So, we'll look for something else. When we pulled over here, there's a little trail that goes underneath a bridge. Oh, we could probably drive through this. Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's take the car. We'll have to back through that though. <laughs> a little bit of a glare. Hold on. Let's 
assuming we can go through here. Oh yeah, we got enough height. We have plenty, we have plenty of width room. up ahead. I don't know. You, you want me to get out and look? Yeah. Like. I don't know if I have enough room to eat. Alright, hold on. Hmm. Well, we made it through that hole. I don't know, it's down here. Sloppy, slimy trail. Looks like it just kind of goes along. What does it look like? Oh, it looks like we come to the river here in just a minute. Let's just see where this goes. Could it be a murder site? This doesn't look, look like a good place to drop a body. I know, I don't think anybody would see it. No, it doesn't look like there's much traffic. Ooh, is that going to drop off? No. Looks like it's a maintenance trail for these power lines. What it kind of what it kind of looks like to me. Or maybe it just comes down here to the water. There's a little trail that cut through there. Somebody's foot foot trail. It could be a deer. Ooh, there's the paint. Yeah, there's I see some tire tracks. be a good fishing spot. Alright, so it looks like it continues that way. No, it does. Down on the dark path. Do we go down it? Yeah, a little bit. You think it all circles around? Oh, no, we would have to get back to the... Looks like we're almost as far as we can go, and we'll just slice through it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and we're back under the bridge here. Looks like if you go that way, that trail kind of stops. Well, let's check out this. Let's get out and check it out. Well, it doesn't look like doesn't look like we could go much farther. But look, you can see we're under the bridge. Look, there's a tire swing up there. Yeah, this just must be a. locals party spot kind of get down here by the water huge bridge not a lot of trash though i'm really surprised usually places like this it's all kinds of garbage out here all kinds of garbage like uh Yeah, check that out up there. Let's go up here.
Got a big tire swing. All right, on the way out, we just noticed something, which the sign needs to be a little bigger. Where is it? There it is. No motorized vehicles beyond this point. Whoops. Oh, finally we made it to the Thomas house. I'm backstage, I'm getting ready to go in through the through the back door here. And uh, we should have the crew setting up everything. We're gonna head through the kitchen and see what we got. Here we go. There's David just kinda chilling out. And uh, getting ready for a, getting ready for a big weekend. Now let's see here, cutting through the kitchen. Here we are in the dining room. Here it is. Looks like they're set up. Got the stage looking good. Oh, yeah. Sponsored by Alienware, so we got the top of the line equipment. The best. Spared no expense. Sounds like Jurassic Park. Anyways, so here's our stage. We try to make our stage look like the catacombs of Paris. As you can see, 20 feet long. Eight foot high. Really impressive. It looks really cool at night, too. Over here is our merch area. Check it out. Got Brianna over here on the merch. Everything you need to ghost time. We got K2 meters, recorders, uh, flashlights, laser grids, new laser grid combo thing that we came out with. My book, The Thomas House, The History and Haunts of the Thomas House Hotel. Me and Kyle Cobb wrote that. Uh, shot glasses. Coffee cups. Check these out. These are really cool. Silicone. Aren't those nice? Coffee cups. Uh, ceramic shot glasses. we got all kinds of nice crystals and amulets here. Keep, the, keep you protected and demons away. We got protection bracelets, earrings. Check this out. Hot sauce. This is our new our new hot sauce that we have. Which is uh based on my favorite recipe. I call it Screaming Skull Hot Sauce. You can get it on our website. And then of course we have our Thomas House shirts. This is the design for this year. Grunge meets digital. That's our theme. And um, so as you can see, we're just kind of walking around. We got, we got people checking in, just kind of hanging out here in the lobby. I'm going to do a little walk through real quick. So I'm going to head up the stairs here. So we're getting ready. We got a full house tonight, which is great. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. We've got a lot of the crew here. And uh, check this out here. This is a creepy, <laughs> creepy little sitting room. Here's the hallway that everybody sees. Sarah, the ghost of a little girl that haunts here. And also a whistling ghost. I think his name is Mr. Cloyd. I think he's the... One of the past owners of the hotel. And uh, check these out. These are called museum rooms. And uh, this little room here in particular. This has seven generations of the family's wedding dresses, uniforms, all kinds of things like that. Seven generations of the owners of the house here. So you know there's a lot of energy. 
So these were originally guest rooms. Look at this one. This one's creepy. This is the Santa Claus room or Christmas room. Look how creepy that is. Yeah, no thanks. And then even creepier is this room full of nothing but dolls. And there is one little bed in there. Good afternoon from Red Boiling Springs, Tennessee, and this is day two at the Thomas House, and now we're going to try out, some locals told us to go to the Grecian Steakhouse. We heard it's supposed to be good, but uh, we got Shane over here, Baby Dane, we got us a hot rod car, he calls it parallel parking, as you can see, it's not called in the... <laughs> Watch out, Brianna! He Free can't. move! Uh oh. Too far. Anyways, so we're gonna check out this Grecian restaurant and uh, then we gotta get back for day two at the Thomas House. Had some good activity last night. I had a couple ladies, they had some great ghost box activities. So we'll see what uh, we have in store for today. Plus the door is awkward. Yeah. If you were a, a hefty person, look, come on. Boy, stay on the other side of it. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> hey, you want to sit outside? Yeah, can we sit outside? We may be too loud for inside. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. You ain't getting out there. Push. Give it a twist. Oh, it does. They'll keep twisting. Sometimes you got to keep twisting it twice. Twist it again. You got to keep going. It does it like about two. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, the food is here. So let's see what we got. I got a cheese steak sandwich with fries. Brianna has a buffalo, what is that? Buffalo chicken sandwich, extra on the buffalo. Karen over here has a, what'd you get? And chicken and potato. Don't be too excited about it. <laughs> baby Dane got the same thing. Or I got the same thing as Baby Dane. Yeah, that's right. Clip. 
<laughs> buffalo and chicken, then, chicken buffalo, Monterey. Buffalo chicken, onion rings. Oh, yeah. And then... Uh, chicken Monterey. Looking good. Sure, sure, don't worry. I'll pay for David, you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, let's feast. Yeah! Her birthday's getting... Or her birthday's getting... So we are here at the city really? cemetery in Red Boiling Springs. And I'm going to show you guys Thomas Tyler Cloyd's and Margaret Cloyd's... Uh, grave which is here and we're also on the lookout or on the hunt for another grave of somebody who passed away at the Thomas house the uh, RV Weston so right over here let me show you here it is these two graves here we have Thomas Tyler Cloyd and Margaret Jane Cloyd. Hard to read. October 27 is when she passed. Oh. And then here is Mr. Cloyd's March 14, 1915, I believe. just right here on the road underneath these huge trees let's see it's a pretty big cemetery but here's the old section and some of the crew they're over here looking for RV Weston's grave who's the gentleman who passed away on the bridge at the Thomas house after he fell off the bridge and hit his head on the slate. So here we are coming back from the Thomas house. It's Sunday. The events are over and on this, tr uh, every time I go home, oh my God, look at all this. There's all these caves and I've stopped in one before on one of the other videos, but I wanted to kind of check them out again and I got Dane with me, but a lot of this stuff is really loose and dangerous. I don't know. I think there was one over here. Here it is. Oh, wow. This one actually caved in, I think, since the last time I was here. Look at that. Man. Look how all this just kind of caved in, these rocks. There was another one over here. Somewhere. There's one that goes up there. Oh, wow, look at the stalactites or whatever. And then there's a whole bunch of little mud dauber holes. Looks like they've been... Here it is. Wow. Look at the size of this one. Huge. Stand over there so you can get a... People can see like how big this is. It's just right on the side of the road. Hey, what is that little, what's that stuff right there next to? Me? Yeah. What is that? It's Budweiser can. This? Yeah. Broken glass. Somebody threw a bottle. Probably tried to make it in the, in the hole. Ooh, it goes far. Uh-huh. Somebody could crawl down there, too. I don't know what, uh, let's see. 
Let's see what it is. What's down here? Ugh. Holy crap. Whew. Let's do it. Let's check it out. Ugh. It's not hard, is it, to get down in here? No, not really. Hold on. Let me get in a little bit, and then I'll get you coming in. No, I am. I was going to just stay right here just in case I need to call for help. Oh, actually, it's as far as it goes. Really? Yeah, it's just a hole. That's pretty cool. And, uh, here. It's a hobbit hole. Oh, it does. It keeps going back this way. Oh, uh, maybe not. Well, you can see the size of it. Oh, do that again. Your head was cut off. Well, you can see how big this hole is right here. This doesn't look too like it's going to cave in, but I think I'm going to get out of here anyways. There's a couple more holes. Maybe we'll go check those out. Nothing really in here. Some old bottles. Ouch. Ooh. Pretty sure I saw another one right over here. It was like on the road and it went down. I think, I think it was here. Yeah, I think that's it. Right there. It. Yeah. Oh, look how that! Oh, he look right there. No, oh, he did. Yeah. Look how this one goes there. Then we got one down here. Let's check this out. Uh, oh, yeah, we ain't going down that one. Yeah. And then. Is there another one over here? No, but there's one up here. You got <laughs> you got dirt all over your ass. Uh-huh. This goes up and then down. See what's up there. See if it's worth climbing up. Do it. I'll let you go first. cave or something. Hold on. Uh, wait a minute, hold on. Okay. Check this out. How tall it is. It goes up. Ooh. Holy crap, dude. This is a good one. I'm almost kind of scared to go in here. This looks like all this stuff is loose. Dude, if one of these big rocks falls on you and comes loose. Well, don't go down there. Okay, well, well I just, oh, I don't know if we'll be able to get out. I don't know if you. <clears throat> Hold on. You can throw a rock to see how far down it goes. Oh, it just kind of stops right there. Yeah, it just goes down and stops. It is cool though. All these weird, these weird little caves that are just all in this real dangerous loose. Oh shit, what was that? Oh, it's a like a black salamander. It's black and gold. Hold on. It's black with gold little little uh, <laughs> dots all over them. <laughs> Anyways, oh. yeah, this stuff's really dangerous. Like, look how like the stuff just falls apart. Well, I'm not trying to bust my eye. So you gotta be careful in these because these will definitely just looks really really dangerous. 
<laughs> I wish I had that. You, that should have been on video. <laughs> Oh, Anyways, okay, cool. So now we know where those little places go. Look how these just, they cave in. These mm -hmm. rocks just fall. That one was actually really cool, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, it just went in just a little bit. You think that all was just one big cave? Probably.